Hey, what is up Malaysia? This is Nathan Hartono and I'm going to answer a few questions so that you guys can get to know me better because, you know, we don't know each other yet. We were strangers. Let's, 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 let's talk. Come on, let's go. Um, I got started in music singing when I was 14 years old in a singing competition held by a magazine. One of those shopping mall competitions. I did that and kind of just never stopped since. Like no one told me to shut up so I just kept going. Like my sound is changing almost on like a weekly basis, but I think that's every individual musician's journey, like finding your sound. I'm still finding my sound. I don't know where it is or what it is sometimes. I wish I had a better handle on it, but we're all trying it. Infinity was inspired by a very tumultuous time in my life. Very emotional, very withdrawn from a lot of the world. And I think that feeling of disconnection really fed into the lyrics of this song. Because um, this song is all about not quite knowing what is real and what isn't because you're feeling so disconnected from the world. The same way how sometimes when you're feeling depressed, your thoughts about yourself become distorted. They don't become as real, you know. You start to think things that are not necessarily true. And that's what this song's about. that pops up is, I remember singing in a bookshop in Singapore, like all crammed into this bookstore that was not meant to have an audience. Something about that immediacy and intimacy was very, it was very intense, it was very scary for me, but I loved it. Like I, I, I still recall that night quite vividly. Hmm. I don't think I've written it yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm a somewhat of a morning person. I like waking up early. I uh, love going for morning walks, listening to a podcast, uh, getting some breakfast somewhere. Mostly like after 9 p.m. that you know, you, you go to a studio, play some music with friends, rehearse, write, whatever it is. Most of my day happens in the second half. Uh, some kind of earphones, just because I have to drown the noise. <laughs> um, socks. I can't wear shoes without socks. I don't get people who can. Like, don't your feet get sweaty? A hat. I would say like, a hat. not today because I, I have no hair, but uh, most of my life, like a hat is kind of like the go-to lazy accessory because I just cannot be bothered to do my hair. I'm not much of an elaborate prankster, but the weirdest prank that was ever pulled on me, and also because it was so weird, it was funny. I was a guest on a kid's show. They told me that it was their studio security guard's birthday, and they wanted me to be the person to present this uh, older man with a cake. And I brought a cake out for him, and surprise! And then he started to have a heart attack. I, I got very scared because it's like, I was the person that popped up, I was silent and just staring at everyone around me and this old man like hunched over and they were like, haha, prank. And I'm like, what the hell? This is like, there's like nine, ten year old children and you just had like an old man simulate his own death. Like it wasn't that funny at the time, I was kind of laughing for the cameras, but it was a lot funnier like in retrospect. Because it's just weird, this is a strange prank to play. <laughs> The Hokkien in me in Penang is crazy. The prawn Hokkien in me there is absolutely insane. And also I love that dim sum for breakfast is like a very normalized thing. Like I'm, I'm very excited to <laughs> eat my way through this whole country. Favorite thing about Malaysia, so far the people, I get this very like genuine sense from the people here. Again, it's only been like a few days, so I don't know. Like. I need, I need to spend more time here before I answer these questions more accurately. I can guess it. Okay, try. Give me the words. Nagara ku tana tumpal. Nope. I'm judging by everyone's reactions in the room. I'm so far off. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever heard it before. 
find as many opportunities to practice, whatever that means to you, uh, be it performing, producing, writing, even if it means like working with people that you normally wouldn't work with or finding yourself in projects that you wouldn't normally say yes to. Do everything, accept everything, especially when you're just starting out because sometimes you don't know what you like, sometimes you don't know what you don't like. And, and if you do enough hours of it, something's gonna happen. Alrighty, so those are all the questions. Hope you guys learned a little bit about me. Uh, I need to clearly learn a lot more about Malaysia. Uh, but in the meantime, check out my brand new song called Night After Night, as well as my music video Infinity, out right now.